Well, welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl <laughs> and your boy, Stanley. I don't have time for him off camera or on camera tonight. <laughs> but anywho, Empire, Sweet Sorrow. Eh. Um, oh, let me do the YouTube thing. To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the freaking channel. Welcome, welcome. If you are not yet a family member, when we say family member, we mean a subscriber. Um, go ahead and hit that daggone button. It's free yep. 99. The price will go up tonight to free 99 plus free 99. Yeah. So go ahead and get it while we have that good old coupon code. While we got the clearance going on. But anywho, I'm going to go ahead and say this right out the gate and then we're going to get into this. Um... I'm about as hot as fish grease right about now. Yeah. Look, we know Andre got a whole lot of skit with him. A whole lot of issues. But a whole lot that comes with Andre comes with a whole bunch of covering y'all. But, but y'all yeah. mean to tell me that everybody judgmental? Yeah. Everybody now want to look uh -huh. at Andre like he's the black sheep. But like like y'all skit don't stink. Yeah. Hey, we're we, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna deal with that though. We're we gonna, gonna get into it. it. So, y'all know last week we ended off where Cookie was having the arm pain, shortness of breath, and whatnot. They don't even know how to not spoil it for the next week because immediately after the advertisement for next week was um, Cookie has a heart. Okay, so we already knew. We that figured Cookie, it. Yeah, so. so we knew Cookie was either having a heart attack or a stroke. It's the heart attack. So, they get her to the hospital, and the doctor was like, listen. And you got her here in the nick of time, but you need to call your family because it's going to be a, a long, long night. night. I know what it means, too. Yeah, been there, done that. Been there now. So, you know, Lulu went ahead and um, <clears throat> he called the family together. So all of them are sitting in the room, you know, just basically doing the waiting game, trying to figure out, you know, how bad is it? When are we going to be able to see Cookie? We're not. So then we got um, Hakeem over in the corner, look, with his um. With his sweater on, that me and him can, can you know, we can share that sweater. <laughs> he talking about something, you know what? You think we can pray right now? I This is a good time to pray. Jamal said, we can pray if you lead the prayer. Yeah, you lead it, yeah, because I, you know. Uh -uh. So then they asked, um, Lucius, Lulu. He said, y'all can. Y'all can go ahead and get Lulu's with that. I know he won't fit in the prayer. Nah, the day on yep. hospital burn off. <laughs> so, Lucius went ahead and left. And I saw that he went into the chapel. And I said, okay. So he wanted them was, I don't want you to see me pray. Because uh -huh. I got a special relationship with the Lord. But no. No, no. no. Now he went to sell a score. And I'm going to go ahead and go here. Yeah. Because I used to be an atheist. So everything that Lulu said to Jesus, whoever he is, whatever AKA, you believe. The statue. <laughs> I've said it. I've done it. I felt it. Mm -hmm. When he said it, I felt it. And he looked at that um, statue of Jesus and he was like, listen, I ain't never asked you for nothing. Basically, my life has been hell. You took my daddy away from me. You took my, my mom's mama. love away mm -hmm. from me. You took my leg. You took my God. Don't. And now, the only other thing that I love more than life is cookie. So you couldn't get me down. And now you mess with what's precious to me. Yeah. And oh no, if you let her down, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna rain, rain hell, hell on your world. I'm like, how you gonna do that? Cause he's the devil. I know he's the devil, but I'm still trying to figure out how in the hell he gonna do that. You know, that don't even but, worry about but it. But I understand. But in his mind, he thinking totally different that he's gonna screw up God's world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I used to have be, fun with that. I used to be an atheist, so I get it. <laughs> yeah. You believe you can. I believe I can do whatever. Well, I still believe I can do whatever the fuck I want. Oh, yeah. Um, consequences are on me. I mean, it is uh -huh. what it is. Yeah, your price to pray. The, the, the price to pay price and pray. Pay and pray, yeah. That's, that's a good one. So, next thing we know, they're back in the room and we're not. And at first I was like, okay, so didn't nobody had the decency to call Andre mm -hmm. and tell Andre to come down to the hospital. I know y'all not that mad. That y'all yeah. not going to let this. His mama just had a heart attack, man. So we did see him come on through there. And all of a sudden, everybody went from sad, concerned, trying to figure out what's going on to cook it to... What you, you doing? shouldn't be here. What you doing here? Huh, you huh, need huh. to leave. You're going to make them more stressed out. Because ain't this, ain't this what you wanted? What? 
And are you happy now? You wanted what? me and your mother dead. No, no, no. Let's go ahead and correct this, Lulu. He, he wanted you dead. dead. She just so happened to be. She was just collateral damage. Yeah, uh-huh. She was having to be present at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. No, they had nothing to do with cooking. But then this this would piss me off. Then the boys going to go up in there with it, too. Hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. If don't nobody else understand the brother. It ought to the be them two fools. The brothers should be the ones that understand. It ought to be them two fools. But no, they judgmental too. Okay, okay. Just wait, just wait. Hmm. You know, like the commercial say, but wait. There's, There's more. more. So, um, long story short, Cookie actually had a mild heart attack. She had the kind where basically she had um, probably like an artery or valve or something. They can blow, blow that stuff yeah. through, the, through the artery. So they opened open it up. back up so she didn't yeah. have to get a stent. But mm -hmm. she, they basically told her, listen. And look, there was, uh, there was a lesson in this message right here that y'all better catch on to. Said that this was brought on right here and right now because of diet and lifestyle. I was like. And said you were lucky this time. But well, if you don't time. make no changes, you may not be as lucky the next time. And see, this is what gets on my nerves about us. Us. Uh -huh. Black folk. Us. We'll, we'll, get, find no we'll go to church that next Sunday. The Lord has been good to me. He mm. saved me. He was a physician when I was sick. <laughs> and leave right from there and go to the corner store and get a two-piece chicken box with yep. a biscuit and potato wedges on the side. No, no. Better than that, you just got diagnosed. Just had a heart attack. Cats came out of surgery and next day you want a piece of fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know it's true. It's true. So... Cause man, since you she, since you won that ball game, all right. it's this girl I used to work with, and we was looking at the different dietary stuff. You know, oh, it was God. a different weight, your body, you know, body mass index and your body fat and all that stuff. <laughs> and she was like, "Well, that stuff don't pertain to black people." I said, "What?" I said, "That's our problem right there. That's why we dead before we turn twenty because we don't think any of this bugs get pertains to us. Like we above all that." <laughs> yeah, me and my cousins had that big old argument about the BMI chart. And they was like, you not, you don't need to get so small because all of us in our family are thick. Well, we are thick. And um, if you get too small, you ain't going to look right. And da -da 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 -da. I said, listen, don't you come at me with this. <laughs> look, I knew when to stop. But yeah. I also know that me being at the way, even losing all the weight that I have lost, I am still not my healthiest. Yeah. So if it don't pertain to me, then tell me why do I have what I got going on. Yeah. But anyway, but we anyway. ain't doctors, we ain't nutritionists, and we ain't trainers. But we know I, I'm, I'm the expert trainer, though. You but think you are. <laughs> so we get we get Cookie home, right? So immediately, Lulu goes into damage control. Yep. He don't hire the best cardiologists. He don't got the nutritionists to come over there to the house. And he's like, listen, we're going to set up shop. He got that goddamn room look like strangest floors. Mm -hmm. And I said, if you don't get all that booze scared about her, looking like she casket ready. No. I said, Cookie come in there. And like, what the hell is going on in here? It looked just like a funeral home. A show did. So, you know, he's telling her, listen, you need to take, you know, take a breather. You need to rest and do what the doctor said. We're going to change this diet immediately. See, this is where you messed up at, Lulu. You need to bring her a soul food chef that can make healthy, healthy meals. meals. Yeah. Don't you bring um, Mark up in there. Somebody from, uh, what's the what's the college? Um, the Cordon Blue, what is it called? Oh, yeah. Um, well, what's the one that um, my co our cousin graduated from? I can't think of the name. And, and the Cordon Blue? Yeah, Cordon Blue. Um, yeah, and we might, we might be saying, why we messing up, and it, it don't even matter. She so, went to cooking school. Yeah. <laughs> The he come out there with all these juices, a kale salad, and I said, for real, this this, this is what we're doing right here. Cookie immediately was like, you know what? You take your little food, tell Juanita no, to fry, fry that kale. <laughs> fry that kale up for me. And we fried some kale up tonight. We showed Before did. the review, we showed And did. I'm talking scared. I'm just as hypocritical as I can be. But see, we do it healthy way, though. We do though, it man. healthy, though. We saute it. Mm, fried. Um, <laughs> so. Hey, I'm trying to be technical here, man. That's so fried. It's good though. But we do it in avocado oil. Yeah, avocado a good oil. oil. So, basically, Cookie told Lucius, listen, I know what you want, 
and I know how you want me to do all these changes and whatnot, but I ain't, I ain't fitting to do none of that. I'm about to get in this bed, me and my iPad, and I'm still going to run Empire from this mm -hmm. bed. I'm going to do what I need to do. We're going to work on the 20 for 20, da, 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 da. Lucius had got so fed up with her, he was like, you know what? I, I can't take it no more. If you want to be left alone in this bed and do what you want to do, said, I got you. I, I got something for your hind parts. I said, what the hell are you fitting to do? Cookie had dozed off to sleep, and when she woke up, who was up in the room? Them two stupid Carol sisters. Carol and Candace. Two stupid sisters. <laughs> that got no cookie said, you know what? If this keep on going on like this, when Lucius come back, I'm going to be the only one in here alive. I'm going <laughs> to kill y'all. <laughs> so, you know, you got one sister that's <laughs> like, you can go ahead and do this, do this. And then you got one sister that's like, are you crazy? No, this ain't what you're, you're supposed to be resting. So they battling with that. They going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So then the other sister, I think it was Carol. Was Carol? Yeah. Carl was like, you know what? Mama heard about uh -huh. you and your little heart attack situation. And she's really concerned and she want to come see you. Cookie was like, oh, uh, hell no. She I not coming up I here to see, see that, me. B. She left us and that. I said, oh. Okay. Hmm. You keep on harboring all that in your heart. Uh-huh. So you got that stress. Lucius. Them, them crazy kids. The company. Everybody. Yeah. So she was lucky. Yeah. Because even the kids that came by. Um, Jamal and um, Hakeem, and she ain't want them date, which I understand. Leave me the hell alone. But you know, stress it be but, out. But thinking about it, a lot of our, you know, uncles and aunts and grandmas and stuff that you know we didn't want to lose, they was the main ones carrying around this family stress, man. Holding on to that stuff, trying to be the strong man or the strong woman. That all stuff took them out. Show sure did. But it says stress is a silent killer. It said heart attacks are too, but stress is too. Man. Which usually that's what it is. Stress leads to the heart attack. Yeah. So now we got Cookie still <clears> trying <throat> to run the company, trying to do damage control. We got Becky over Can't here. Stop. She's having a um, meeting with um, Jamal because the, what's it, the board? See, yeah, the board wanted to pull his ads. Pull his ads. Don't want him to do no music right now because basically the block is hot. Yeah, he they, tainted at this moment. He real He tainted. a murderer. <laughs> so what they decided to do was, hey, we don't line you up with this um, interview with Robin Roberts. And let's go ahead and see if we can spin this thing around. You know, basically put a bandage on everybody. Let them, you know, calm down a little bit. You take a break so that when you come out with some music, they won't see a Jamal murder. the murderer. <laughs> They'll go ahead and see that, okay, you know, all of this was justified. Da, 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 da. So he goes on Robin Roberts. And he basically got pushed into a corner and he came out so swinging. Swing. I said, okay, Jamal, wait a minute. Becky over in the corner trying to coach him because, you know, you, they don't already went through their rehearsal speech and whatnot. And it won't work. Yet. And it wasn't working. Robert Roberts was like, you know what? What happened? Because we already have footage of you beating the hell out of your ex-boyfriend. So, and then not even a, probably a month right, after man. that. You don't kill the freaking male. Yeah, you don't kill Tay Diggs. Yeah. So you mean to tell me that you don't see a pattern in your life? Have you ever thought about going to anger management? I mean, what's going on? <laughs> Jamal was like, I, you know, and coming up in it, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, fuck it. And Becky was like, they're trying to tell him what to say. She was like, and he said, you know what? Forget all that. Forget you know, all. I'm gonna that. tell you the freaking truth. Said them Dubois tried to kill my family, every member of it, and I ain't sorry. He then said, I took him out. Did you see my brother? Uh huh. And what they did to my brother? But y'all ain't even record. Y'all ain't yeah, recording don't, that. None of that stuff. Uh uh. Said you know what? I did it. And if I didn't do it, my whole family would be dead. And he walked off the set. Yeah, but <laughs> said. Now Cookie is watching this. So now she's even more, more stressed, stressed out. out because she's like, you know what? He I should have been one there. Job to do. Like, but he would did the same thing if she was there too. She would have did the same thing. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, everybody judgmental all of a sudden. Yeah. So then we got back. That's what happens when people start changing their life. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> now everybody got to change. Don't well, smoke around they me. Can, you can't smoke. Don't cuss around Don't me. Don't cuss around me. You know what? Don't drink that Kool-Aid around me. How you doing today? Don't I'm eat. blessed. Don't mm -hmm. hide a favor. And tow her from the floor. Yeah. So <laughs> Becky is sitting in the... um. In the conference room. She's actually having to have a meeting with Jay Papa. Very awkward. He won't pay her when he ain't. Yeah. Because he's in his feelings, which he I, should I, be. Yeah, yeah. I'd be pissed off too. You dump me and don't tell me why. Yeah. yeah. That's a mess. So eventually, Jay Papa just looked at Becky and was like, listen, 
this is very hard for me. It's hard for me to sit here and pretend like you are doing right now. I love you. What we had was going perfectly. What is it that I did? Yeah. And she ended up going ahead and telling him flat out, I'm, I'm pregnant. pregnant. And he was like, and he was like, well, that's, and he, he you know, lit up. He you lit could up. see that he was starting to make plans in his head because he already told Becky, look, basically you're my inspiration. I can eat. I can't sleep. sleep. I can't write no music. That's when you know you love a woman right now, boy. So he, he's planning in his head. And he was like, okay, you know, trying to figure out, okay, if I do this, this will work. This will work. You know, da-da-da-da-da. And she stopped him right in his track. She said, stop planning. And she told him, I'm not planning on keeping this baby. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to abort this baby. And he was like, hold on. So I don't have no kind of say in this? And she was like, basically, no. And he walked away from her. And she was like, do not walk away from me. But homeboy was like, I got he you. gone, yeah. He yeah, you got to give him a minute to process that too. You don't basically yeah. told him you that there's a birth to, yeah. and a death in the same sentence. Exactly. You know, because she had, she, you know, she had shared that with Jamal earlier on. But the good thing is that she got a man that's willing to step up to the plate and take the responsibility for his actions. Yeah. Because a whole lot of ninjas... It's planting seeds, then all of a sudden that ain't mine. Hey. I ain't taking care of. I ain't watering them or none. Yeah, like I told y'all before, you want pleasure without responsibility. It does not work. Yeah. So later on, we saw that um, Becky actually went to the abortion clinic and Jamal went with her. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that she's sitting there and she's really trying to process this she thing. She don't want She's to do looking it. at the kids in their waiting room. She's mm -hmm. looking at the mothers that you know you clearly see a, a baby bump and you know it's. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. like that. So, um, she was like, you know what, Jamal, just talk to me. Talk to me about Distract anything me. other than what's going on right here. So, he started talking about the, the interview. interview. <laughs> and he was like, I wouldn't change a gut doing thing about what I did. I probably ruined your career, but you know, my, said, career. Ruined my career. I know mama's mad with me, but I am mm. free. free. <laughs> so, I don't give a I can feel that. him, though, boy. Yeah. When you free, boy. Uh, you don't care about Man, the consequences at that about, moment. Especially when you live your whole life worrying about what people think and what they say. Uh, you know, when you come in and go here and you finally be like, fuck it. I'm out. That's such free. It is freedom. It is freedom. Ask me how I know. Mm, I know. I've been really, really. So, when they called Becky's name to go back there to the back, all of a sudden... We saw her stand up, and I was like, she gonna change her mind. Ooh, she yeah, gonna change she gonna tell, her she mind. tell Jamal, let's go, let's go. I ain't doing this. I can't do it. Then Jay Papa came around the corner. I said, oh. And she was like, so how did you find me? And he said, you know what? I prayed about it, and the Lord told me where you was at. Now, he, didn't say that. He, he didn't say that, but I thought that's what he was gonna say. <sighs> Some spooky spiritual like that. And he was like, you know, I prayed on it, and I'm not in agreement with this. But he said, I wouldn't dare let you go through this alone. You can't yeah, go through powerful. this without me. That's and powerful. she just fell into his arms and she went ahead and she continued to go to the back. So that's unconditional love for your harm boss right Say, there. I don't have to agree with you, mm -hmm. but I'm still going to rock with that's you. That's right. That's, that's what you got to do. That's love. Yeah. And you, ain't, you can't find too many people like that no more, man. No. That long as you stroking their ego, they're good. But the moment that you stop. Yeah. <sighs> they throw you to the curve. Yeah. After you to the spend, West Island? To the curve. Have you to spend, all, spend all your time, your money, your energy. Matter of fact, you would talk them off of a hundred ledges. Now all of a sudden. You jump off of one. One. No. You no, ain't good. No. And now all of a sudden when you stand up to them and tell them the real truth about who they are, then all of a sudden they pissed off at you. Hmm. Well, we know how that go. Yep. So then we see Eddie. Eddie the snake. Y'all saw last week, Eddie was making a whole bunch of solid moves, you know, basically stacking the deck so that he can come around him and Patel and they can actually sell this company and he can get paid. And we saw that it was wife number two. two. Wife number two was actually getting ready to sell her pad to this guy named Lupe because Lupe had the money that was going to actually be able to float her and her lifestyle because evidently, Eddie still takes care of his women. Pimp. Or... All of the stuff that they live on is in his name. It's got to be something, something going, going on like on. that. Because he's trying his best to fix it and fix it. And fix all of their lives like Ayala. So, later on, we saw that he went back to the, to wife number two and told her, say, hey, you don't have to sell this place. Because she was really upset about selling the place. Uh -huh. You know, I, I got the money. 
Mm -hmm. I don't cash in, and she never asks no questions, which lets you know he does this all the freaking time. Yeah, I'm she'll like, ask no questions. Yeah, she was like, "You, you, you sure? You so, sure?" I said, "Don't give up no draws until you see the money." Huh? Put shorty, pull her panties to the side. <laughs> <laughs> shorty, put your feelings to the side. So now we got God doing um, cookie. Cookie's sister don't don't open up her big mouth because Cookie's trying to still run that pot from that bed. Yep. Don't open up her big mouth and say, you know, back in the day, you ain't need no goddamn studios to make no yeah. good music. All you needed was your apartment, a couple of mics, and this is how we got to shove her out there. That's how, that's how majority of rappers got started, when man. Got no Dan and Dan, yep, Dan, they based me up with the air crates over the windows. Mm -hmm. Yep. They had that little spit guard up there and that little cheap microphone that they got from their local music store. Mm -hmm. And they Sam made ass. it happen. They had, the, they had the freaking audio interface up in there. I know y'all probably don't know what that is if you ain't music, you know. But yeah, that's all you need. So, um, Cookie ordered for them to bring Empire to her. So once um, Lulu walked in the house and saw that Empire <clears> was <throat> sitting in his living room, he, he lost it. So what the hell oh. is you doing, Cookie? First, Juanita caught it at the door. He, she was like, hey. Hey, I ain't my fault. I tried. I tried. She wouldn't let me call you or nothing. I tried to text you, but she cut my phone service out. <laughs> <laughs> so then the sisters was like, you know what? Cookie does what Cookie wants to do. Exactly. She does what she wants to do. And Lulu just went clean off on them. Was like, I brought y'all here to take care of her. Make sure she don't pull no bullshit like that. They was like, eh. Pump your bricks, player. What you ain't gonna do is come up in here and try to chew our heads off when you set up in here and you don't left us yeah. all day long with somebody that you know can't be controlled. If you can't control how you think we, mm -hmm. we grew up in the house where we know. Yep. This ain't cookie, what you want. Cookies gonna be cooking. So basically, go ahead and let her do what she gonna do, and then she'll be able to rest once she's satisfied. You know, it took me a long time to learn that. <laughs> Just gotta let people be themselves, man. Cause do they you. gonna do them? With the unfortunate time. part, sometimes them doing them affects you. It's all the time. <laughs> but you gotta let them do them, cause you can fuss and fuss. Ain't gonna do nothing. I remember my mom, my, before my daddy died, she fussed and fussed and fussed and fussed and fussed. She said one day, you know what, you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. <laughs> daddy did. Yep, and daddy did. You ain't gonna lie, your daddy led his life to the motherfucking fullest. Yep. To so his half last time, day. Half time he couldn't move and breathe, but he, he still did what he wanted to do. Sure did. We, yeah. we might go to the rabbit hole and tell you some stories one day. About what, how he, he, he checked himself out in the hospital but stand on the curb? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you brought it up. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm, I'm late at, there at home chilling. Get a call from him. Hey. Hey. Hey, Junior. That's what we call him. Stanley Junior. Hey, Junior. Hey, can you come to the hospital and pick me up? I said, uh... I said, is the doctor releasing you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just came to me and told me they're going to let me out. I said, okay, I'll be over there. I'll be over there in about 15, 20 minutes. I go over there and go all the way to the hospital, go up to the last floor where he was at. Looking around for him, I could not find him nowhere. I looked. So I went to the nurse and was asking where my daddy was at. He was like, oh, he, he left about an hour ago. I said, what? So I went outside. I was looking around. This joke was sitting on the curb. I said, man, why are you in at the room waiting on me? Why are you coming in? He said, man, I got out here just in case they change their mind. <laughs> ain't it. Just ain't it. Ooh. So, Cookie had her way. Lucius told her, listen, I will give you the clearance to do one song, and then after you do that one song, get your hind paws back in that bed mm -hmm. and, do, and get your rest. Like the old people say, get you some rest. Well, it's the Tiana. And Hakeem's song. And I said, hold on, wait a minute. When they started singing the song, I said, uh, uh, uh. Yep. When y'all y'all need to write James Caldwell a ma freaking check. Check. Write him a really big check. Because as soon as they started singing that song, I said, hold on. They watching. They watching, they watching, they watching. Because they started singing a song about big shoes. Now, that's what James calls Hakeem, the little boy with the big shoes. <laughs> Now, all of a sudden, they come out with these big shoes, big shoes. Um, it's going to do something to take, yeah. fill your shoe. Yeah. James, tell them to run you your money. S send them an invoice, James. For real. So, they couldn't get the song <clears throat> right. 
Cookie got all stressed out. She started having chest pains. Me and Stan looked at each other and said, was that a fake chest pain? That was fake. You know, uh -huh. you know they thrive off of, um, off of stress and pressure. Uh -huh. So now, oh, Mama Gary has st <laughs> stress pains because I can't get this right. You know what? Let's do it for her, man. Let's do it let's for her. Let's go ahead and do let's it right. put, Let's put our panda to the side and do it for her. Uh-huh. Huh? huh? So they got the song right, and you know, that's when um Eddie started cheesing and whatnot. And this is I'm like, shut up. Yeah, uh huh. So he knew that the money was good at this point because he cashing in on the stuff that he don't set up. So then we got um Andre. Andre don't ran these numbers. Uh huh. And he confronted Eddie. He said, I've been looking at these numbers. And I'm noticing that something ain't adding up. You had to get numbers from Sean before you were able to do something. And tell me why this was. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie never answered answer him. the question. You know, you know what? That's why you should be running this company. And it's going to be terrible without you being around here. Because you are the brains of the operation. He and said, but you never answered answer my question. question. So Andre might be crazy, but he's smart. So... I said, uh-huh, Eddie, go ahead and walk away. Because you know Andre ain't going to let this he go. He ain't going to let it go. So, so y'all know people don't let it go. Oh no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. So y'all know that mom and dad still ain't talking to Andre. Andre rolled up in the house, and of course they still being judgmental. Yep. Because even Andre had went to the house to see his mama, cause he said I need to put my eyes on my mama to make sure she all right. And the rest of the kids were talking about son. You need you, to go. You don't need to be here. And even she was laying up in that bed, and I wanted to sock her one time, and I love me some cookie, but she gonna talk about some. You hurt me real bad, Andre. You hurt me to my core. You basically you tried to kill your dad. Hold on, how much? How many? How about the times that Andre has literally saved that company, saved Yusha's life? Yep, saved his life, saved the company, and not to not to forget that he killed Lucius killed your cousin Bunky. Hello. And you ain't take him through that. Mm mm. You just loved him through it. Yep. So now all of a sudden, Andre is the black sheep because he tried to kill his daddy. Now, under normal circumstances, we probably would back you up on that. But the daddy is Lucius. Yeah. If the daddy was John down the street, we wouldn't care. I know what it is, man. What? They still taking it out on him because he married a white woman. <laughs> That's what it is, Stop man. Stop it. That's, That's what, what it is. is, man. They still mad because he married Rhonda. Well, Rhonda, Rhonda. Now, Rhonda promised Andre she was going away. You know, she kept on popping up. So she did promise him that she was going. I'm going to say Rhonda's still around, but she ain't. Then yeah. look, they ain't paying Rhonda no more got no money. Yeah. So <laughs> Andre rolled up on his mom and dad and was like, listen, I know y'all mad with me and whatnot, but y'all need to hear me out on this. I looked at the numbers. This ain't right. Basically, Uncle Eddie is stacking the numbers to make things look good. He's building a portfolio and he about to sell this from up underneath for y'all. Yep. So you can either listen to me or listen to yourself and don't have a freaking company in yep. the morning. So they call Eddie in. Eddie is doing the chucking and jiving, jiving and manipulation. And he was like, you know, I'm so glad he ran you these numbers because I had the perfect opportunity. And Lucius said, hold on, hold on. Ain't nobody give you the authorization listen to do to none make of no this. deals for me. So Eddie said, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. I was enjoying my life in retirement. Y'all you? came and sought me, which was true. Y'all came and sought mm -hmm. me to save this company. And now that I don't made a power move, this is the thanks I get. You don't even give me the respect to hear me out. And Lucius was looking at him like, because we are friends, I'm going to give you, you 10, 10 seconds, seconds to get up out of my eye. face. And said, you know what? <laughs> the white people, they laugh at you. You know, y'all little small potatoes. I'm like, no, like, you ain't play I that said, card. He first, said, First of all, I would have punched you for even entertaining that with them. Yeah. And you already know us. Like they always And you know say, what we got. It's so, don't come tell me what people said about me if they was comfortable yeah. enough to say it So obviously, you. if you didn't confront them, you was saying the same thing too. And obviously, you agree with them. Hmm. What he said, he said the white people say that y'all ain't nothing but a whole bunch of Phillish, um... So Philly, Philly monkeys? Philly monkeys chunking and jiving. I said, yeah. I said, you I better like, walk away. What? Walk away. While you still got life and you still breathing, you know, he can shorten the other eye for you. You know what? <laughs> the power's in your right hand. Leave him alone. <laughs> he didn't get enough of it. So then we ended up with, at the end of the story, we still see that something is off about Cookie. It's just like mm -hmm. she can't let nothing go. She doesn't want to rest. And I'm sitting here like, 
lady do you really are you trying to kill yourself like what is happening here yeah you realize you had you had a mild heart attack but that's still serious yeah so then she ended up breaking down and she told lucia she said listen i'm scared mm -hmm. i don't want to die mm -hmm. i am so afraid because what happened to me shouldn't have happened to me um my life is just seeming to get on track and it just seems like in a it could have been taken away from me. Yeah. And, then, uh, and Lucius was like, listen, Cookie, I had a really stern talk with God. <laughs> and you ain't going nowhere, nowhere no, no time, time soon. soon. <laughs> and she was like, I love you. And he was like, I love you. And I said, you know what? This is the first time that I've ever really felt like Lucius meant that with everything in him. Mm -hmm. Um, But... That hood love. By the way, he said with the passion, had tears in his eyes. Yeah, he had he had tears in his. But eyes. I've seen him do that, and then turn around and stab him right in the back. Oh yeah. The next day, or even the same day. I say same day. So it was good. It's a lot going on, but I I can't get I can't get behind y'all with this Andre stuff. Yeah, y'all need to turn I around. I can't do it. Now next week is it looked like it's supposed to be some reconciliation between him and Andre, but I don't know. It seemed like somebody gonna blow up again, and I said, you know what, Andre, the best revenge would have been. For you just gonna let that goddamn bastard crumble. Cause you can actually build your own company. But I'm gonna tell you how small Andre was. Um, I forgot about this. By the shine. By the shine, he told Shine that I cleared your name. I got you out the picture. No more bloodshed. And you could tell yeah. Shine wasn't for it at first, and, and then, then Andre broke it down for he him. He said, if I tell Pop that you was in on this with me, you know he gonna kill you. And then your boy's gonna come back and try to kill him, and it's gonna keep on going to all of us as dead. So nobody wins. Nobody wins. So at this point, you're free to walk away. You walk away. Take and your walking papers, like, man. He said, Thought "No, about. I need you to. I need to hear it out your mouth." Because mm -hmm. you he was agree. like, and he said, "I agree. It's over, Andre. It's done. Deal's done. We're not." But yeah, we're gonna see what happened next week. I thought this week we was gonna actually see Cookie's mama. I got all excited because I was. We just might see her next week. Cause you know, because she still ain't acting right. Them sisters gonna call the mom. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Carl, Carl gonna call them. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to bed straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty shout. Two up, two down. Holla.